Let's talk about how to apply my favorite mascara from Mary Kay, Lash Intensity. There is a reason this is a bestseller, but it does have a learning curve. You probably noticed that I don't have much makeup on already. I like to do my redness correction first, my eye makeup second, mascara third, and then my foundation. You know why? Because sometimes I hit my nose with a mascara wand or I accidentally blink and wipe it everywhere and I don't want to ruin a perfect foundation job by doing that. So I always do my foundation last. Now, if you're really observant, you probably already noticed I have two different eyeshadow looks. If you want to know why, you're going to have to go back and find my Hooded Eyes eyeshadow tutorial video. So for lash intensity, the formula is amazing, but the brush has a learning curve. It has three different parts. I don't even know if you can see this. The top has that spoolie brush that's standard for mascara when you think of mascara ones. But can you see the little wing coming off the bottom? There's a wing on the left and a wing on the right that kind of stick out. Well, this is what you do with them. Spoolie wand at the base of your lashes to deposit product. Now, here is one trick that I like. Instead of just going straight up like this, I like to wiggle side to side as I go up. And that is a fun hack that coats both sides of each lash and makes them look thicker. The next thing you're gonna do is rotate your brush and use one of the wings to pull that product from the base all the way through your lashes. You can also do the wiggle trick here. The important thing is that you're using it to pull that product through and really fan out your lashes. And then you rotate it again and use the, the second wing. You can see though how putting some at the base first with that special spoolie side really helps to make my lashes look thicker, almost like I'm wearing falsies. What I love about this mascara on top of everything else is how sometimes I just decide not to wear eyeliner, but you can't tell because of how the mascara really blings out your lash line. So look at that. One coat, you guys, one coat, three steps, one brush, one coat. Now I've already bonked my eyeshadow but I'm not gonna wipe it off yet. I'm gonna let it dry because with mascara, if you let it dry, it'll chip off. If you try to wipe it off when it's wet, it'll smear and completely ruin your eyeshadow. One thing that is super helpful to do um, before you do your mascara is to apply a lash primer. Um, Mary Kay's lash primer not just separates and defines your lashes to boost your mascara, but it also helps to curl slightly, which is really nice for those of us that are traumatized by curling uh, <laughs> in their youth. Time to chip off that mascara that I accidentally bonked up here. Just a dry Q-tip and a quick roll. Boom, it's all gone. All right, that's it for lash intensity, you guys. Super fast, super easy. Um, one brush, just rotate it a couple of times and you're done. Um, it usually takes me less than a minute to do each eye. Um, so. I mean, it's it's great for my lifestyle because I want all the length and thick and volumized, but I don't want to take all the time. So that's why this is my favorite. That's why this is my best seller with my clients. So you guys, you can see, look at that. Yes, yes. So if you want to see me finish the rest of my face, and the next step is foundation, um, then hop over to the foundation video.